Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech with Yashwa. So in today's complex and dynamic cloud environments, understanding network traffic is crucial for security, troubleshooting and performance optimization. AWS VPC flow logs provide a wealth of information about IP traffic going to and from the network interfaces in your VPC. However, manually analyzing these logs can be a daunting and time consuming task. What if you could use the power of generative AI to analyze your VPC flow logs using natural language. This is where the Amazon Bedrock powered VPC flow logs analyzer comes in. This solution is available on the GitHub repository, which I'm going to drop in the description box below. It leverages the capabilities of Amazon Bedrock to provide a powerful and intuitive way to query and understand your network traffic. Now, what is the challenge with uh, VPC flow logs? VPC flow logs are critical source of information for network monitoring and security analysis. So they can help you diagnose, overlay, restrict you or permissive security group and NACL rules. You can also monitor the traffic that is reaching to your instance, understand traffic patterns and identify anomalies. However, the raw data from the flow logs is verbose and can be difficult to parse as well. So to get meaningful insights, you often need to use specialized tools or even write complex queries uh, on Athena, which can be a barrier for many users. So that's where this generative AI powered approach comes into the play. The Amazon Bedrock Part VPC Flow Logs Analyzer provides a new paradigm for interacting with your network data. So instead of you writing complex queries, you can simply ask questions in plain English. For example, you could ask, what source IP addresses do you see? List all the destination IPs that are being li listened to and what destination ports are being accessed, which connections are being rejected. Show me suspicious activities. What's the largest data transfer? So it, the questions are endless to ask. So the solution utilizes Amazon Bedrock, which is a fully managed service that offers a choice of high performing foundation models from leading AI companies to understand your natural language queries and generate the appropriate code and queries to retrieve the information from your VPC flow logs. So some of the key features of this product is uh, it utilizes or you can ask questions about your VPC flow logs in plain English. And the solution is built on serverless architecture that can scale to handle large volumes of data. The entire application can be deployed using a single Python script and you can access and question the model and get the solution for that. The solution can be extended to support additional data sources and analysis capabilities. You can even ask based on the data that I've shared with you, what are some of the security recommendations that you're going to give and you can act on that as well. So to get started with Amazon Bedrock Powered VPC Flow Logs Analyzer, you only need an AWS account with access to Amazon Bedrock and a particular uh, you know, LLM model. And you also need Python 3.10 or higher versions installed on your local machine. So the solution can be deployed using a simple script that sets up all the necessary AWS resources as well. So once you have the resources deployed, you can start querying your VPC flow logs using natural language through provided infrastructure. So let's see that in action now. So all the code bases and everything is documented on this readme file. You can check out this uh, GitHub repository and it, we are um, just licensing it with uh, MIT. So just, just go ahead and check this out. So these are all the prerequisites. Basically, uh, it is going to validate the VPC existence first, whether the VPC ID that you're going to provide is already present or not. Then it will check if VPC flow logs is enabled or not. If not, it will also give you the recommendations as to how you can enable flow logs. And then you can retrieve and analyze uh, the detailed flow log data and you can ask questions you will get a prompt to ask questions and then based on that you can you know uh, you know customize it and do what not right and the good thing about this is you it will provide you with a prompt to set the time range for example if you want to analyze the logs for let's say last one hour you can just mention one and it will give you the details for last one hour alone and the prerequisites are AWS CLI installed and configured. All you have to do is open up your favorite editor and just type in AWS configure after the installation of uh, your uh, Amazon CLI and then hit enter. It will ask for uh, access key and the secret access key. You provide the details and you should be good to go. 
make sure that user who is going to you know use the aws credential has the permission to vpc uh, bedrock and also if possible provide him the admin privileges as well now it should be python 3.10 plus and i've not tested with python 3.8 but hi highly recommend to use python 3.10 and Amazon uh, Bedrock access in your region and VPC flow log should be enabled in order to test this. So you can also check the required AWS permissions from this uh, JSON file here. So all you have to do is, uh, you know, if you do not have Bedrock specific requirements, go ahead and follow this. We are using Cloud3 Sonnet, uh, which is in, in this particular Amazon AWS region, which is US East 1. Go to AWS Bedrock Console and Model Access and then you can request for it. For example, if I want to show that, open your Amazon console, also open Bedrock, and you will see different models that are available. I've basically allowed all the models. You can just click on this and you can you know, get access to the particular model that we are going to use, right? So it will provide all the list of the models that are available and you can access whichever you want, right? So make sure that is already there. And the next thing is, uh, you need to request access for this. This is the one that we are using. And uh, the regional availability is uh, mentioned here as well. Bedrock is available in limited regions like US East 1, US West 2, EU West 1. And you can also check out the documentation for more visibility. And all you have to do is first clone this repository. Just go to code and copy this and type in git clone and you are good. Then in, go ahead and install uh, all the requirements uh, .txt. The requirement .txt is present here. So it will go ahead and install all the requirements in order to run this example. So once you have that, just go in and copy this uh, env.example file where you will set all the environment uh, files. So let me show that here. So if you see here, uh, I have this example here. Uh, I'm setting my AWS region to US East 1. AWS profile is default, which is configured on my local machine. Bedrock model ID, I'm specifying that. And the default hours, basically, if I do not mention anything, it will go ahead and analyze 20, last 24 hours of logs. And the max uh, log entries, I'm specifying it has 1,000. But if you want to change that number, add pagination, go ahead and do that as well. And logging configuration, I'm setting it to info. You can also set it to error or you can also set it to all depending on your use case, right? So once you have that, just uh, go ahead. Uh, you can edit .env file and, uh, you know, share the information which you want. For example, whichever the information that you are uh, comfortable with, just, uh, you know, share that. These are the required uh, info. If you do not provide this, it won't work, right? So the, the next thing that you need to do is just, you know, be inside this folder and run this uh, main script, which is, VPC flow analyzer .py, where you will be prompted to enter the VPC ID. Let's go back to my uh, AWS account. And if you see, I'm in my North Virginia region and I have one uh, VPC. This is the VPC ID. And if I show you, uh, it's already enabled with the flow logs. If I go here, you can see the flow log is already enabled. So if you are enabling it now, it might take five to 10 minutes for the logs to up aggregate. So just check that once. And if you do not know how to enable flow logs, just click on actions and you can uh, see this option create flow log. Just click on that. You can mention a name for this and uh, the type of traffic you want to capture, uh, basically accept, reject or all. I recommend going with all and a maximum aggregation. So based on your requirement, uh, the maximum interval of time during which a flow of packets is captured. So if you want 10 minutes, go ahead and uh, set it to 10 minutes or one minute. And where do you want to store this? So preferably for this code to work, we want to store that in uh, CloudWatch logs, but you can also store it in Amazon S3 and whatnot, right? And uh, provide a log group. If you do not know how to create a log group, go ahead and check out my CloudWatch uh, video. I'll uh, make sure to provide that in the I button there or in the description. Just check that out. Uh, it's very simple to create a uh, log group. Uh, you can choose the one or you can also uh, go with, uh, you know, creating a new service role uh, if you want or use an existing one. So if you do not have, just go with create a new use new one and leave the rest of the things as is and go ahead and create the flow log. So once you have that, just go to your VPC. After some time, just 
grab the VPC ID here and let's go ahead and paste that here. Okay. If I hit enter, it will first check it. It will initialize the analyzer for US East one and it will check if this VPC exists or not. So if you see VPC exits and it's found and also it will check uh, if the VPC flow log is enabled. It also says it is enabled and it's asking us how many hours of flow log data would you like to analyze? Example, one for last one hour, six for last six hours, 24 for last one day and 168 for last one week. So let's go ahead and uh, provide one and hit enter and it will retrieve the flow logs data for last one hour and uh, it is asking you to go ahead. Uh, it is already having the data at the back end now and it is asking for you to go ahead and ask questions like what are the top IPs addresses. So let's copy this first question okay, and paste it here in what is your question. So let us let me hit enter now and it is going to analyze it and it will throw the uh, analysis later. So let us wait and uh, let us give it a moment for it to analyze and it, it will give you the details. So if you see here to find the top uh, IP addresses, I will go through the records and count the occurrences of each unique source IP and here are the top source IPs and their counts. So this IP address has got 14 occurrences. The, it will also give you the records where exactly it found these IP addresses and whatnot. And uh, you can use, uh, I've created a sample instance. I've opened all the ports basically to check how exactly it works. So if I go in here, uh, there are some sample questions as well. So let's see that. Now uh, show me all the TCP connections. So let's let's go ahead and paste that. Let's ask this question now. Uh, let us see if it is able to get all the TCP connections. If you see, uh, it is giving you uh, the record T has got TCP, TCP, all basically all the things that we see here is a TCP connection. So it is showing like that. And uh, if you want, like, let us ask for the suspicious activities. And it will also give you the suspicious activities uh, which are potential uh, in this particular VPC flow logs. So it is going to take some time to analyze it and it will give you the result in here itself. So if you see it is says, saying that records like 3, 5, 16 show incoming connection uh, attempting to connect variety of ports like these many. Uh, this could indicate port scanning behavior to find open ports, right? So which is also very, very cautious. And uh, it is also giving you uh, six other suspicious destination ports, potential data ex extrapolation and all those things. So depending on this, you can, you know, ask some more questions like what is the largest data science worth? So it will give you the number of bytes which was transferred in a, a particular TCP transaction. Uh, if you see here, the largest was this one, which has got 117 uh, bytes transferred. And based on this, let's ask what are the some what some what are some of the recommendations that you provide in order to keep my VPC secured. So let's ask that based on the details that you have. Okay. So let me hit enter. Let's see if it is going to recommend uh, some of the security related recommendations to keep my VPC secured. Awesome. If you see here, uh, based on the VPC flow log data provided, here are five important recommendations to keep secure your VPC along with the relevant AWS resources. So firstly, it is asking to restrict inbound traffic on sensitive ports. So it says, I noticed traffic being accepted on ports like 3389, 221433, and potentially sensitive ports from external IP addresses. So it is also giving you the records where exactly it found that. And it's ask, uh, it is also asking you to implement NACL rules, uh, monitor and investigate suspicious traffic. Like it is also giving you the IP addresses, which is suspicious. And it's also asking you to uh, get a alert or something like that and create, implement a web application firewall rules uh, as I've allowed multiple ports on the, uh, you know, this EC2 instance. So this is good, right? So if I want to just query it in Athena, it will take some time, at least whenever we are going to analyze these logs is when we observe that there is some potential risk of having, uh, you know, a cyber attack. 
So instead, if you can use this tool to ask questions and get your answers, that is going to be really good. Now you have already seen how exactly it works, but what have done and what is the code doing and all those things, let's understand now. So firstly, I'm utilizing Boto3 here. So if you see, I'm importing all the things that are required like Boto3, JSON, Panda, date time, typing, logging, and all those things. Now I'm creating a class called VPC flow log analyzer. Basically it will get all the details from your .env file and store it here. And firstly, it was going to check if the VPC exists or not. If it is existing, then it will check for the, uh, if the flow logs is enabled or not. If it doesn't exist, it says VPC is not existed. Then if VPC is not enabled, it is going to give you the recommendation as to how you can enable VPC flow logs. Then, uh, and once you have that, uh, it will first get the log information from your VPC flow logs. So that is what it is doing here. Get the log group name from the flow logs and then it will calculate the time range as well. Depending on the input that we provide, it is going to limit to prevent overwhelming responses. And then here uh, it is going to take this as a format because the VPC flow log will have different informations like the version, account ID, interface ID, source address, destination address, source port, destination port, the protocol which is used, packets, bytes, all those things. So it is going to keep that in, in this uh, format and uh, it will also give you the details like limiting uh, to the records to avoid token limits and, and so on. Then this information that it gets from the VPC flow logs, uh, it is also going to change the ports as well. For example, if just sees ICMP, it, need, it doesn't know what's the port number and uh, how to map that, right? So it will convert protocol number to the name exactly, right? So one is ICMP, six is TCP, 17 is UDP, uh, 47 is GRE, 50 is ESP, uh, 51 is AH, and that is happening here as well. Now, uh, we are going to analyze the flow logs here. So if you see, uh, if it, it is not getting any flow logs, then it will return saying no flow log uh, found or the data available. So uh, here is the uh, input for the model. And uh, here it is exactly querying the bedrock. So it queries the Amazon bedrock with natural language questions about the flow logs. And uh, I'm instructing the model to uh, have this context in mind before answering. So I'm just letting the model know that you have access to actual uh, detailed flow log records above. When asked questions about uh, you know IPs, protocols, extract uh, list uh, the actual value. For questions like what source IP address, list the actual IP addresses and whatnot, right? So this is uh, important instructions. So you can, you can have uh, some more uh, important instructions added. And uh, the request body and all those things, we are using Anthropic Claude 3 Sonnet uh, version to work on this. So then uh, if the VPC flow logs are not enabled, like I mentioned, it is going to give you the instructions as to how you can do that by this one. And at the end, there is a main uh, file as well. So it is going to give you all the details in the order which is required. So uh, this is the tool, uh, interesting one, which I built on this weekend. So I found this valuable to share with the community. So this is what I wanted to share. And if there are any recommendations as to how I can improve this, do let me know. Uh, I'm excited to uh, hear from all of you. And if you are liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.